Welcome back to the channel guys, thanks for joining me again. Um, as always, apologies, it's been a bit of a gap in my videos at the moment, but uh, I assure you there's loads coming up, okay? So stay tuned. Right, we have Subaru back on the ramp. Um, kind of a good thing and a bad thing. We want to put the new headers on, right? Which I wasn't going to do just yet, because I'm using the car here and there. But, the other day we started to lose boost. A lot of uh, noise coming from the bottom of the turbo. We've got under there, and we've seen masses amount of black soot. So the actual up pipe, the turbo spool pipe, has a big split in it. Um, so I'm afraid it's down pipe off, possibly turbo off. The headers coming off from the bottom, and uh, we're going to be putting the new headers on. Yeah, so it's literally the whole exhaust system, manifolds, everything's off. So uh, I'll do a video about it. Um, starting off by undoing the bolts again, as you saw last time, I painted the backside. I'm trying to obtain a, a, a long neck cordless bracket at the moment, which I should be getting today. Um, if I get that, it'll be a breeze, literally zip those bolts off. Otherwise, I'll be sitting there quarter, quarter turn at a time with a, a hand ratchet. So, anyway, guys, uh, I'm going to quickly show you the headers and then we'll start stripping. Okay, so these are the aftermarket headers guys um, This one, the current system on the car If you see this right, that's the actual spool pipe, the up pipe That's the one that's got a split on it on the car, right? Somewhere roughly around here It's cast iron, I haven't got a clue how it's happened Because they're double skinned, right? So I'm guessing it just traps the heat in there And then they crack um, So this is an aftermarket header this pipe on the car is separate pieces, right? But this has got a flexi bolted onto it. So this is gonna have to go up in one piece, which I think might be a bit of a pig. Um, other than that, has seemed seem good. I will need to adjust the map. I've spoken to my guy already. Um, possibly next week, depending how long the job takes. Okay, guys, also, tell me what you think about the quality of the, of the camera, right? I've changed the camera. Um, it's supposed to be better for low level lighting. So let me know what you think. So we're going to start by, I don't know if I'm going to remove the intercooler, might not need to. If I just grab my torch here. So it's going to be literally uh, down pipe off and see those bolts there. They're the ones that we need to get off for the up pipe. So there's about four bolts hide, uh, one, two, three, four, there's five bolts in total. Three bolts are hiding behind the turbo, might need to take the intercooler off if I can't get through them from underside but um, that's why if I had a ratchet it'll be a zip off that be a breeze so anyway I'm just waiting for a call and uh, we're gonna get on to it guys cheers okay guys I'm back from my little runarounds this is what I obtained uh, snap-on ratchet one of the powerful ones you can get um, that two batteries charger let's not go there uh, how much it was but I'm going to start zipping stuff off now, right guys? So, uh, I'm going to try and stick you on a time lapse. Okay guys, um, I thought I'd want to do a time lapse because you've seen all this process before, it's in my other videos, intercoolers off. Right, so we can get now to the back of the turbo bolts, just going to remove the intercooler bracket there and um, get all that off. Right, um, let me show you under the car so don't know how much you guys can see right a bit dark in here let me get a light right see that taking the studs off already they're on the floor there so I've taken the studs out of that and see there as well Right, taking the studs out of there as well okay so that's ready to come down it's that pipe this pipe here that goes to the turbo that's what I'm trying to unbolt and then the whole thing will just slide out all right so next video you'll see is with that on the floor hopefully so as promised guys the old headers are off look at the state of that all right it's, you've got several broken joints there imagine the boost that we're losing there this is where the issue lies. See all that black soot there? Okay. Um, 
Look at that. I don't even know what's going on with it. I haven't even inspected it. I'm not even going to bother show you here. Turbo is still in situ. All right. So try not to disturb it too much. It's still bolted in, so all good. Right, down pipes off. New headers are here. So that's got studs on it, and that one doesn't. So I'm in a bit of a pickle, right? So it's not going to go back on today. If I had everything, it would have gone back on today, but it's not going to. So anyway, I'm going to get the whole kit, gaskets, studs. Uh, turbo gaskets, the whole lot, right? Probably won't be here till Monday, Tuesday, so it's gonna sit here as it is, guys. But I tell you what, that thing, that ratchet, one of the best things I've ever bought. This made the job so easier. I mean, seriously easy. You know, I've taken I've taken all this off in under an hour, believe it or not. Um, yeah, love it love it snap on proper okay so next time i will have everything in front of me all the stud kits uh gaskets and those headers will be going up peace welcome back guys i know it's just been like a few seconds but it's actually been about three days turbo gasket exhaust gasket all the bolts we need with the studs What we wanted. We'll focus into that. Uh, right. So everything is still as it was. I'm gonna put the studs on, gaskets, headers up. All right. It's it's gonna be difficult to film under there, guys. So um, I'll keep you updated. All right. Welcome back again, guys. Right. As you can see here. What I've had to do, the headers are up provisionally. I've still got to put the gaskets in. Sorry, it's a bit close up. I'm going to try and get it out. There you go. See here, I'm going to get some light in here. I've had to trim back the subframe ever so slightly. You can see the notches I've made in it. It's pretty tight against there. It is unfortunately something that us Impreza owners have to do because they. Um, Got the size wrong slightly. So anyway, it's up. I've got to put the gas, slip the gaskets in because it's just a trial fit. So I've got to take it down again, slip the gaskets in, bolt them up, and then do the up pipe at the top, guys. Sorry, can't really f uh, do a time lapse underneath here because there's just shit flying everywhere. So uh, yeah, headers are almost up. Hopefully, should have it all fired up in a bit. Turbo bolts all tightened down. Up pipes on. Headers are on, I've got one bolt from the bottom that needs securing. All that bolted down. So the downpipe's gonna go make to the turbo now. Okay, so I'm just gonna double check all the bolts, get the car up on the lift again, get underneath, tighten up from the heads, and then downpipe on, and we'll fire this bad boy up. Okay guys, I was uh, adamant to get this finished today. Turbo, downpipe, headers, all bolted up nicely, back again. Um, for all new gaskets. And um, yep, yeah, it's off the ramps. Exhaust is all bolted up. Just the intercoolers are going on now. Um, I think I'm going to get some food first guys. See you in a bit. Right guys, so that was painful. So everything partly back on together, the intercooler is back on. Um, now I'm going to fire it up. So, fingers crossed, here it goes. Hey, coming by the tools, walk a mile in my shoes. Right, I'm just going to put you over here. Got to give it a few revs.
gonna take you to the front of the car guys just in case you're wondering I did fire it up just beforehand slightly warmed up so I'm not just caning it off the cold start slightly smoking here from all the grease on the headers everything's back on idling a lot better than it used to when I first started it the first time round it threw up a code for this lambda sensor right here okay so it's probably because I've disturbed it um, I've tried to tuck the wiring away from the headers as you can see excuse all the smoke it's just all the shit burning off um, so yeah I'm gonna need to tie that up shortly because that's gonna get burnt so let me just switch her off right so as you can see all that crap burning off garage is a mess but that's going to be clean another day right so intercooler went back on turbo bolts for some reason every single subaru i've had right um loosens the turbo bolts hang on let me stick it on a tripod and i'll check to you so first thing guys every single subaru i've had you have to stop every like thousand miles two thousand miles and tighten the turbo bolts right can't understand it even from the last time i've done the turbo upgrade this time around literally some of the nuts just took off with my hand and i was wondering why they were exhausted ex 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 so um i know sometimes you can spend a lot of money but if you ever need to get them off mate, they're not coming off at all so you have to grind them off so um, i've tightened them pretty tight i'm going to probably check them after a few hundred miles just make sure everything's good um the center exhaust the flange that meets together, they're two different flanges, they're not a, a, a nice flange. So I'm going to take it down to the exhaust shop probably during the week, get them to chop the flange and uh, make the flanges properly. During the week before I've done this, I had the centre section removed, it hence why it sounds a bit louder. Um, I've just spoken to the mapper, it's going to get a map tweak next week. And uh, yeah, it's going to take it out for a test drive guys. Um, and thanks again for um, tuning in. So the videos will get more frequent now. Um, sorry, just like I said, I haven't. I'm not going to announce yet what I've been doing, but I have been doing something under the radar. Um, but yeah, I'll let you guys know it as and when. But uh, another, another series coming up. I haven't forgotten about the Mercedes. Um, I just need a bonnet for it and cannot find one apart from a brand new one for like 400, 500 quid, which um, I'm not spending that money because it eats a bit of profit margin. But yeah, that's what I'm waiting for bonnet and uh, top down panel, and then we're good to go. We'll probably take half a day to put it back together again. So guys, thanks for watching, thanks for tuning in. If you have any questions, comment down below, drop me a message, and I'll see you next time, guys. Thanks a lot. No sleep in the wild, I want it all. I keep down first. I see evil, I evil, when I come first. Not today, say. This I got works. Play my position.